sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys, American Direct Auto in Winsboro, and Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. Welcome to another edition of Football Friday Night Extra right here on Fox 14. I'm Chris Immersion. This is our Beast of the Week. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, you have the Beast of the Week here. I mean, well, you, you give out the Beast of the Week. Yeah, I'm just going to give out the award. <laughs> you give out the award, Beast of the Week. <laughs> Jesse Davis with us right here in Fox 14. A full 30 minutes of high school football highlights. I kind of like miss that banging rock music underneath all the highlights. Is it Slipknot? Is it like Five Finger Death Punch or something like that? <laughs> Whatever it is, I like it. Speaking of the highlights, let's get right to them. Our first game, U High and Nelson. The Cubs come to Bill Ruppel Stadium winners of 27 in a row, but they're down 21-0 at the half. UI's Tanner Lawson takes a snap, soon sacked by Neville's Ben Crawford. And suing Tigers drive, quarterback Andrew Brister gets the ball. However, it's lost, and the visitors recover. Dag nabbit. Next Cubs drive, Lawson has it, throws this in the air, but is picked off by none other than Charles. Strotter Jr., of course, Jesse, his brother, a big-time player for ULM. And suing Neville possession, Brister steps back. His pass is intercepted by UHI's Trevor Evans. He's looking to take this back to the house. Will he? Nah, knocked out of the one-yard line. But very next play, check this out. Lawson hands this off to his running back. However, it's fumbled and recovered by Neville's Tyke Reese. Brister and company now at the minus 30. This is handed off to Javon Carter, and he is off to the races. Eventually knocked down right past the logo in midfield. Later in the drive, Brister gives this to Frank Colvin, and he is in there like swimwear. Home team goes up in the front 28 to nothing. Neville wins 28 to nothing. Snaps a 27 game win streak for UI. Oh, man. Taking this thing over to Shreveport. West Monroe versus Bird. Bird could not get anything going, so they're going to put this bad baby off. And, oh, he could not get control of the ball. And Bird is actually going to recover this thing. And it was blown right there. So next zoom position, West Monroe is going to pick it up. And he's going to move and whip with his way up the middle. And what do you know? You can kiss him goodbye. What are we looking about? 70, 73 yards? Something like that. Yeah. Man, anyway. Oh, 96 yards on a touchdown oh. run. So West Monroe out to a 14 nothing lead. Then just before the half. Rebels looking to add that lead. But the lame little pass is picked off by Chris, it was 14 nothing at the half. West Monroe. So, Bird is yet to score this season, falling tonight 24 to nothing. Of course, West Monroe, big winner 24 nothing over in Shreveport. OCS Sterling's in the big battle for 165. Panthers winners of the last two. First play of the game, Sterling's Hayes Crockett throws this in the air, but picked off by OCS's Eli Eckstein. Rolls this back all the way to the 34-yard line. Ensuing OCS drive in his fourth and short last chance. Jaden Davis for Sterling and comes through, forces a turnover on down. Flex it for the gram. Connects to the drive. Crockett gives Dallas Rager. Goes to the nine. That's where he's knocked down. A few plays later, they're at the one. Crockett pulls a camera guy. That big idiot. It wasn't me. It was probably Jesse. Goes in for the score. Panthers lead seven to nothing. A few plays later, Sterling's in the midfield. Rager brought down. But what's this? A face mask is called. Tack on 15 more yards. Sterling has first and goal. Crockett hands it over to Jordan Townsend. He's in for the score, make it 14 nothing. Sterling's in wins 40 to 19. Man, was not expecting that one. All right, and we're going to take this thing over to Washington versus Richwood. We're down at the woodshed. Quarterback hands this off to Lewis, who runs up the middle, and he will not be taken down easily. Down to the very one, very next play. Lewis, he's going to walk this in. Touchdown, Washington is going to win this one easy. 62 to 0. Wow. Man. Russell and Katie. Lafayette, what a game down there. Last year was a Hail Mary to end this baby for the Rams. They got the win last year, but tonight a second half push by the Rustin Bearcats made this one interesting, but Acadiana able to hold off that push. Dylan Monette went down with an injury, but Lucky Brooks picked up the slack. Rams defeat Rustin 28-20. All righty, West Washington 
and Jones very harsh. Man, this right here was a great game. West Washington quarterback is going to throw to his senior number 42, who's going to dive right into the end zone. They're going to get this thing started off early with an early 7 to 0. Alrighty, next possession. West Washington quarterback, senior. He's going to throw it to his sophomore number 28, and you can say bye. He is in. Touchdown. Chiefs. The Chiefs are actually going to go ahead and win this game 21 to 6 over the high. Ale is taking a Plaquemine and Faraday. We preview these guys. There are two of these big, big boys looking to make some damage in 2A. Faraday uh, quarterback Kobe Dillon says, you know what, Jesse, I'm going to kill my own dog on self. And for the score. <laughs> Faraday quarterback Kobe Dillon back at it once again. Finds Damon and Milligan for the touchdown. As he gets past the 10, goes to the 5. Eventually crosses the pay dirt. Blackman quarterback there on offense. Troy Washington with a good carry, but gets hit by Sebastian Turner. And the ball comes oh, loose. Good Lauren Stampley recovers for Faraday. Next Faraday drive, Damon Milligan. He just runs this in for the score. Faraday, a big winner, 36 to 7. All of them big boys. All right, Union Paris versus Airline. Airline had a good game last week, a good comeback. So we're going to take this thing over the second quarter. Vikings lead. Union's getting on the board. Trent again on a quarterback keeper into the end zone. They're going to cut this lead down to 10 now. Vikings trying to respond. Pass is going to be to complete the way. Makes the guy miss. Gets a nice gain. But Airline would later turn the ball over. Union down in the red zone again. This time again going through the air. Harris making the great grab over the defenders for the score. Man, they're going to take this thing 36 to 12. Airline. Wow, I should bet Trent Ginn's mother the other day. She's a great pharmacist over at CBS here in West Monroe. Go see her. Franklin Parrish and Caldwell. First quarter, Caldwell quarterback. Jordan Jerron Townsend hands the ball off to his running back. He would go off to the races in the end zone. Oh. Later on, top of the second quarter, Caldwell, they're on offense once again. They're looking to outrun Franklin Parrish for the second touchdown of the night. Caldwell goes on a win 28 to 6. All right, Evangela versus Bastrop. So I've been hearing Bastrop is the, the I-20. The, they're just killing things in I-20. So this one, the quarterback tries to find an open and chucks it to Williams. So close to the end zone, but just couldn't get in. So Bastrop round, it's time to regroup. They're going to really run I-20 is what they've been saying. So timeout the first half. Johnson is going to take it up on himself. And so, well, Bastrop, well, still regrouping. So Bastrop with the ball. We're actually regrouping. He's going to take it, keep it, run it up the middle, and, well, he's going to walk that thing in easily. And Bastrop, wow. a big win. Wow. Two to 25. Bastrop, I see you. Did be the angel? Yes. Wow. Hey, shout I out see to Cedric Sherrod. His crew getting it done this evening. More teams getting it done. You don't want to miss it. Straight ahead on Football Friday Night Extra right here on Fox 14.